It's pretty common for police commanders to remind their officers and deputies to be safe while on patrol. But today, members of the Ingham County Sheriff's Office got an extra reminder in light of the recent police shootings. Sheriff Gene Rigglesworth sent his staff an email today telling them to remember their training and to use caution with every stop because they're on their own. As Fox 47's Ann Perrette reports, the office doesn't have enough resources to double up its deputies for safety. Every day, Deputy Chad Doyle is required to wear a bullet resistant vest under his uniform to protect him on the job. It's hard to swallow sometimes when you're patrolling and protecting citizens and you, you always know in the back of your mind that any one of them could, you know, try to hurt you. But Deputy Doyle says he loves his job especially the fact that no day is the same as the last. It can be a bad thing, but at the same time, um, I think it keeps a lot of police officers uh, focused. Because they never know what could happen at the next call. You just keep your head on a swivel. An echo of the sheriff's main message in an email he sent to his staff this morning, reminding them to follow the office's policies and always be ready for anything. I suspect there will be more. There is a lot of people out there that um, probably should be institutionalized. I mean, normal people don't do these kind of things. And uh, so that's, that's the reality of the kind of work that we do. It's a tough job. One each deputy has to do alone. For our general fund road patrol, we've got 13 people. So I did cut my staff in half if I sent them out in twos. Uh, we would have no coverage. But Deputy Doyle says even if there's a target on his back to some, he rarely feels nervous in this community. I made several traffic stops this morning already, and um, I think just about every encounter I had, uh, they left with saying, uh, be careful out there. And Perrette, Fox 47 News. When asked about what can be done about the violence against law enforcement, the sheriff told us he wants a database that police can use to see if a person has been deemed mentally ill and therefore not allowed to have a concealed pistol license.